What's up, fellas? Lady fellas? This is your boy Rowdy coming at you with a Fallout video. Now, today I'm going to be showcasing another any weapon, any mod showcase. And uh, this will likely be my last in the series just because with uh, Fallout mods being right around the corner, I think we're going to be starting to uh, do some mod reviews on that. So that'll be cool. But uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First off, we're going to have the Atomizer, which is a 10mm pistol with a targeting computer. This is going to make a pistol that shoots missiles. And need I say more? I made it semi-automatic only because I feel like it gives you more control over all the missiles. I have a uh, fully automatic weapon that shoots missiles, but honestly, I think it's a little overkill, so... This will definitely kind of bring a little bit of balance to it at least. And uh, definitely a really cool and useful weapon to have. This next one is going to be Carnage. And it's essentially going to be a radium rifle with a automatic rifle receiver and a pipe barrel with the... Uh, I don't know. It kind of doesn't really fit well, but when you shoot it in first person, it doesn't look too bad. Except for the, uh, if you can notice it right there and above the weapon, there's a little glowing dot from the uh, night sights, but still pretty cool. Um, I don't know, I put the, uh, the explosive legendary effect on it, and um, I don't know, it makes it so you don't really have to worry about aiming, because in first person, as you can see, it doesn't really help too much. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this next one is going to be the Caustic Flame, and... Okay, so with this one, it's a little bit ridiculous. It's almost too ridiculous for the game itself. And what I mean by that is it's so ridiculous it won't even work in first person. So here's the gun itself, and uh, you can kind of see it doesn't even want to... He doesn't even feel like holding it. He's just like, forget it. But in third person... I'm not really sure what we're doing here except for using the 45 ammo instead. So, it doesn't really do anything. The damage is very poor. It's just a, essentially a game-breaking weapon. It doesn't really do much at all. But uh, I just thought I'd show it to you guys. Um, this next one's going to be the Corsair Commander. And this is going to be an Institute Rifle with 10% more damage when aiming on the sights. And uh, it's going to have the Plasma Barrel, the Sniper Barrel. And when you put these two together, when you shoot the Plasma, the plasma Bolt, I guess, it uh, has a blue effect when you shoot, so I think that's just really cool, something to uh, kind of include. A little bit different, not too like big of a difference in the game, but uh, I don't know, it's big enough for me to want to use this weapon a little more often. Next one we're going to have is the custom 10mm. This is just a 10mm pistol with a long fin attachment from the pipe rifles. And uh, I don't know, just kind of different. has the uh, frenzy effect on there, so you can get a chance to frenzy some enemies with this. Doesn't really change the way the gun fires at all. It's just uh I don't know. Gives a little life to it. Next one's going to be the Plazer. And um this is just essentially a plasma rifle with a long improved laser barrel. And uh this one doesn't change too much. It's just I just like the way it looks. So I don't know. If you want to give that uh that old plasma rifle some new life, this is definitely a cool one to put on here. But uh yeah. Next one we're gonna have here is the Plas 12. And this is gonna be an automatic shotgun with a laser improved sniper barrel. And uh yeah, this one's actually pretty cool. It uh turns it into a laser shotgun. I mean, and I know that you can already do that in the game, but the fact that you're not even you know, using the laser attachment is pretty cool. It does a good amount of damage and uh, pretty fun just because it gives it like a new look. You're able to kind of mess around with it. And uh, let's see. We can... So as you can see, not very good for long range. Next one we're going to have here is the Pulse Caster. And uh, Mainly I just did this one because it fits really well with the gun itself. 
It already has a kind of tube-like shape, so I went ahead and put the improved sniper barrel on it. And uh, it changes the ammunition type to a laser, so... Now this particular assault rifle has the uh, shooting an additional projectile effect on it. So every time I shoot, you know, two lasers are coming out. But in, if you're not aiming down the sight, you are not going to hit what you want to hit. So aiming down the sight makes a huge difference. And just the pure damage of this, this weapon alone is awesome. Really takes the, uh, the laser, like any laser weapon and overhauls it a lot definitely really cool one to use this next one is the scrap pistol this is going to be a bolt or a uh, revolver pipe rifle with the 10 millimeter pistol and a 44 uh, bladed bull barrel attachment this kind of makes for a crazy looking weapon and um, I don't know all in all, it's not too bad at all. I like the way it looks. And you also get that, uh, that bladed effect, which I think is really cool. Doesn't really, uh, work well. Kind of clips a lot. But, uh, definitely still really, uh, funny that you can kind of put all this together. Finally, the last one we're going to have is just what I call the Spark Lance. Essentially, it's going to have a 10% chance to deal 100 electric damage on a successful block. It also has an electric serrated blade from a Chinese officer sword. And uh, all in all, it makes this a huge, powerful, awesome weapon to use. Kind of like a lance, which is why, you know, spark lance kind of fits together. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and test some of these weapons out on the unsuspecting settlers. There we go. So let's go ahead and start off with this guy. Oh! Okay, so not a good idea to start the fight with Cosworth. Oh! Oh! Yeah, let's go up here. Yeah, this is not cutting it. Let's, uh, try this. Also, not very effective. I'm starting to see that a lot of these aren't doing a whole lot of damage. Go ahead and uh, switch to this. Jeez, this gorilla is invincible. Oh, never mind. Thought he was invincible. Not attacking me though. Oh yeah, Terabot's pretty pissed. He's taking these bullets like a champ. I don't even know. Oh! Marcy is down. Okay. Um. See, Carnage, I've already used this one. Nope.
Jeez, this is just, uh... These guns are not as prepared as my last few. So these may look, you know, pretty good aesthetically, but as for actual use, they are not too bueno. Not too bueno at all. But uh, that's pretty much going to be it for today, guys. If you uh, like the video, if this gives you any ideas of your own or anything like that, go ahead and drop me a like or a comment. And uh, thanks for watching. Deuces.